This is Diego. He's an 11-year-old Maltese and Poodle mix, and I've been grooming him ever since he was a puppy. Today he's here to get a lion cut. Okay, Mr. Diego, it's time to have a bath. Your favorite part of the year. Okay, let's just warm up this water. Gonna switch it to soap. If I sound a little bit off today, it's because I'm sick. Okay, you ready? Good boy. Good boy. So Diego is my sister's dog. He's a bit of a mess because he stayed with my Nonna for about a week because we were on vacation in Newfoundland and Nova Scotia. And my grandparents have a large property and he likes to run around, so he's quite dirty. I intend on giving him kind of a funny haircut today to surprise my family. Since it is my sister's dog, I can pretty much do whatever I want. He's not as long as I would like him to be for this haircut, but we're gonna try it anyways and see if it works. You have lots of mud. Treat. Oh, you don't want it? Oh, you must be upset if you don't want it. <laughs> Good your face. Diego loves food, so if he's denying it, he must be stressed. I've been grooming Diego since he was a puppy. I am the only groomer he's ever been to. Despite how long he's been getting groomed for, he is still terrified of the process. He is just a very anxious little dog. He's always been this way. Grooming has always been pleasant. He's never had an injury, so he's just a little bit of a sucky baby. Right, buddy? Are you a little bit of a suck? Diego is obsessed with food, so for him to deny it, is pretty hilarious. He's never denied food in his life. And he got to stay with Nona for a week, which means he's been eating well, haven't you? Diego has a long history with me. So when I first opened my business, when I was 20, my first ever client was a neighbor and he had a dog named Oscar, a little Shih Tzu. And not long after I started grooming Oscar, he got another dog named Charlie. And his grandson got Charlie's brother, Diego. So what happened was his grandson was going through a difficult time and couldn't keep his dog. So that client contacted me and asked me if I could find Diego a home. And my sister was going through a really hard time. She lost one of her best friends um, unexpectedly and she was really depressed and I knew she loved dogs. So I said, yes, I know the perfect owner and it would be my sister. I'm sorry, Dee, you don't like your face washed. Anyways, it was a bit of coaxing to get my sister to adopt Diego because she's only ever had big dogs, Rottweilers, and she wasn't really fond of small dogs. So she did end up taking him and within a very short period of time obviously fell in love with him and now she is, or Diego is literally her pride and joy. So I find that quite funny and I always say to her, so you only thought you could love big dogs, eh? But really, it doesn't matter if they're big or small. They're all pretty much the same. And Diego is a really, really good dog. So Diego needed to be rehomed, and he found a home with my sister, and my sister needed comfort, and Diego provided that to her. So they have a pretty strong bond, the two of them. Right, Dee? Come here. You're a big baby. Okay, buddy, let's see if this haircut will work on you today. I'm not sure that it will, but we're gonna try. Do you want a treat now? Take the treat. I know you want it. This dog is normally a vacuum. Come on. Oh, you're a suck. You're a big suck. Come here, give me, take the treat. 
Clearly Nona has given you better options this week. Spray him down in some conditioning treatment, the stuff for dogs. Turn, buddy. There is a cricket in here that you're probably gonna hear the entire time. I can't find it. So it's just gonna make noise in the video. Okay, I'm gonna dry him with the little dog dryer because Diego definitely can't handle the big dryer. That would really scare him. So I've decided today that I'm going to turn him into a little lion. His hair should be a little bit longer, but I'm going to try to make it work anyways. His body is going down in a number seven, and that's just because my sister likes him to be short. She lives out of town, so it's easier if, she's, if he's short because then it lasts longer, and he stays clean for longer. So his body will be a number seven. Good boy, Diego. After this, you better take a treat. Right? I'm also gonna give him little boots. I know my sister is gonna be like, you better change this haircut. But this is what you get when your sibling is a groomer and you get the services for free. Occasionally, your dog goes home looking like a lion. I would love to dye it in the lion cut, but that might be taking a little bit too far. I'm not gonna dye her dog without her permission, but a haircut can always be changed. Normally, I am not an advocate for mixing dog breeds, only because it's usually done unethically. It's not done, well, ethically or properly or responsibly. Um, but I do have to say that the mix between the Poodle and the Maltese is definitely one of my favorites. Every single one of them I've ever groomed has had a wonderful temperament, including Diego. I don't know what it is about those two breeds together, but they really are good dogs, I have to admit. Come here, buddy. Let me see. Okay, now I'm gonna clip those long talons of his right now. Now 
I'm going to comb out his boots, his tail, his mane, and his face, and then I'm gonna start doing some scissor work. So let's brush out this little lion tail of yours. Using my straight shears, I'm just gonna do a little bit of tidying in some spots where there's long hairs. And I'm gonna round up his paws. Okay, now, oh Diego, I'm just going to do a little bit of blending on his boots with my thinning shears. Okay, now let's do your face. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. So the goal here is to take his face fairly short because obviously lions don't have hair on their face but to give him a bit of a mane that blends into his ears. So I've never really done this before. I have no idea if it's gonna turn out. Maybe he will be butchered, but the best dogs to practice on would be your parent or family's dogs, right? Because it doesn't look good, whatever. I'm just going to chop his face fairly short, which they like his face short anyways. <clears throat> I wish your hair was a little bit more fluffy and it would look a lot more liony but it's kind of thin on the top of your head. Are you thinning like an old man? Hmm? You are getting old, mister. Oh, if I colored you, you would be so much more lion looking, but I think they'll kill me. So I'm not going to. Okay, you're getting pumpkin pie today. There you have it, folks. Diego, the little lion with the boots. I'm gonna take him outside to run around so you can get a better look at his haircut because it kind of blends in with the wall here. Here, take a treat. Want a treat? Take a treat. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Diego. Let's go outside and play. The cut didn't turn out exactly how I envisioned it. But the good news is, since it's my sister's dog, I get to experiment on him whenever I want. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you again in a few days.